from London, we head down to the East Sussex coast for a quintessentially English walk at number 89. Right to Camber Sands. This tranquil coastal route takes you from the medieval town of Rye through to the sweeping Camber Sands. For 20 years, this area has been home to Coldfeet star Robert Bathurst. And this walk is his favourite way to relax. I love just walking along the coast in all weathers. It's the most fantastic place to walk. Setting out from the start of the walk in Rye, Robert is heading south to the nearby nature reserve, where there have been over 300 sightings of rare and endangered birds. Dr. Barry Yates has been the manager of the reserve for over 30 years and is the town's expert twitcher. OK, Barry, can you find me an oyster catcher? Let's have a look. There's a big flock of them just here on this island, and they're sitting there because it's now high tide. Right. Beautiful. So the birds are changing every week, yeah. and at the moment the winter birds are arriving, and so there's uh, ducks that have come from the, the Arctic to uh, in, enjoy the warmth. Yeah. And there's uh, sandaling out here and dunlin. What's that? That's, that's a curlew. <laughs> it's in my phone. <laughs> that's brilliant. Moorlands. Can you hear those widgeon whistling out there? Yeah. It's not your telephone, is it? <laughs> no, not today. Robert walks to a desolate barn like building near the water's edge. Continuing on another mile and a half to Win Chelsea Beach, there's a poignant tribute to some fallen local heroes. Oh, this is really bleak and it's so beautiful. It's almost at its best on a really cold, grey day, bitter wind. This place is a monument to the 17 lifeboatmen who died on the Mary Stamford, a boat in 1928. It was a wild, wild night in November and they went out to rescue a ship which got rescued by other people. People were sending up flares to try and tell the lifeboatmen that they were to come back, but they didn't see that. And they, they lost their lives, 17 of them uh, capsized, they were found. And this boathouse stands as a monument to them and their bravery. Robert walks as a fishing boat glides past. Continuing two miles further north is Rye Harbour, and it's a place with a special connection for Robert. I first came here with a small boat to try and catch some mackerel and there's nothing I like more than taking it out so I can read the newspaper and listen to the test match <laughs> and it's uh, really peaceful. The walk ends on Camber Sands which doubles as Normandy in George Clooney's blockbuster film The Monuments Men. Yeah, Camber Sands, so beautiful, it's wonderful. But the real appeal here for Robert is the chance to follow in the footsteps of British cinema's proper A-list. To think that this is the place where they filmed Carry On, Follow That Camel. Oh, stop messing about. <laughs>